Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit different. Starting off in the bathroom, starting off with a lot of makeup on because I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I do my entire skincare routine using all of the ordinary products. So not just how I use the products, but how I layer them on. Basically walk you guys through step by step what to put on first, what to put on after, what not to mix, what to mix, and this is basically going to be a morning and night routine. Obviously this first portion is a night. In a little bit I will show you guys the morning once I fall asleep and wake up and do my routine all over again for the morning. Completely different. I use a couple different products that are targeted just for the daytime so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, how do we like the look? Like I literally, my hair is not wet at all. I just decided that this would be like such a good look even though my towel is a little bit lopsided you know I don't know it's very high also like well whatever we're gonna go with it it's a look I am going to wash my face off so this step doesn't include ordinary products so I'm gonna like fast forward a little bit but if you guys are interested in what I use I basically I have a little travel size of it but I basically use a micellar water to take off all of my makeup and I use little cotton rounds so I basically put the water all over it wipe off the makeup and then I will go in with face wash and then go into all the steps so I'm gonna wash my face and then we're gonna After I have taken all of my makeup off with the micellar water, go in with the squalene cleanser. This is basically kind of like a makeup balm cleanser as well. This is supposed to kind of melt all the product off of your face. It's not a really like high intensity exfoliating cleanser. It's more of like an oil. What you do is you squeeze a little amount into your hand. It advises you to rub it in your hand like this. So I usually rub it for about like 10 seconds. I'll rub it like this in between my fingers just to warm up the product a little bit. You want to use this on a dry face. You don't want your face to be wet or anything. So like I said, I use the micellar water and I just wiped it off with the cotton round and my face is not really wet. So after I have massaged the product into my hand, I will into my face like this. So I will just massage it all around. You're not going to really notice the product doing anything and it's kind of weird because it's just like it looks like you just put a bunch of oil on your face so don't really expect like anything miraculous to happen you're really just rubbing it in so that it can melt all in any excess product that is still left on your face so after that you want to warm up some water you want to use warm water to wash this off so I'm gonna do that it's a cute look my camera literally just fell in the water. I am such a... Hey guys, so it's Tanisha from the future here voicing over this portion of the video because my dumbass dropped my camera in the water. So basically what I'm doing right now is just patting my face dry. This is gonna make sure that you're not tugging at your skin. I'm just making sure that all of the makeup is off my eyes completely. Sometimes when you wash your face, not everything comes off. So you really wanna make sure you get all of the perimeters of your face and really just make sure all of that product is off of your skin. Now next thing we're gonna do is go in with a glycolic acid. This is one of my favorite products to incorporate into my skincare routine. So this glycolic acid is an AHA specifically. So what AHAs do is they diminish the look of lines and wrinkles, they make your skin look real firm, they hydrate your skin, they improve the look of uneven skin tone, and they smooth out your texture overall. So these are kind of like a miracle product. I basically take it onto a cotton round and I really make sure I get everywhere on my face. I want to swipe this everywhere, really making sure I'm getting the product deep into my skin. After you cleanse your face, your skin is a little bit more susceptible to this product, so this is the perfect next step. 
Now after I've gone in with my glycolic acid toner, I like to go in and rehydrate with a hyaluronic acid. I use this both in a nighttime and morning skincare routine. Get a little bit onto the palm of my hands and I pat it into my skin. This product is gonna go right back in and just really rehydrate your skin and make sure that it has all of the hydration and moisture that it needs. And it literally makes your skin feel so good, so fresh, so awake. It's like the miracle product. Now after we've used all of our water-based serums and hydrated our skin, we want to go back in and walk in all of those products and that goodness with moisturizers. I like to use this sometimes when I'm having like a lot of acne. Combine that with the regular moisturizer and it'll just do like double action and just really brighten up those problem areas that you have. Pat that into the skin. And this just feels like so cooling and good. All right, last step is going in with the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. Your oils you always want to apply last. You can mix it with your moisturizer if you don't have as much acne as I have. Well, not really acne, but like problem areas. Just want to add a little bit extra hydration. Hydration. And just like go straight to the step after your moisturizer. I like to add this at night because this just like extra hydrates my skin. And I don't like to do it in the morning because I get really oily throughout the day. So this would just add more oil and I just want to get my skin used to being hydrated at night oh hello alrighty my hair is falling out my camera is falling in the water our hot mess for the night routine that is this portion of the video the night routine tomorrow morning we'll wake up and do the morning and I'll show you the different products that I add into my morning routine and how I layer those so see you tomorrow morning Good morning guys, it is the next day obviously and I am about to do my skincare. I'm going to show you how to layer on the products in the morning. So first things first is cleansing my face, just getting off, of, off all of the sleepies and everything like that. So going in with the squalene cleanser again, just taking a little dollop on my fingers, warming the product up. I don't have my robe and towel on my head this morning. You guys got the good stuff last night. Same thing, just rubbing this all over my skin. And I don't have much to take off. Usually I would take a little bit longer if I had makeup on, but I think we're good. And pat dry. After we pat dry, going in with the hyaluronic acid. So you want to rehydrate your skin first before you go in with the next product. A couple drops of this brighten the skin motion at my front door and my ring app. <laughs> I just pat this all over, especially like on my problem areas, like here, underneath my chin. Next thing we're gonna go in with is the niacinamide. Niacinamide, 10% plus zinc, 1%. That's what that looks like. And you wanna do this after your hyaluronic acid because you want your skin to be a little bit more moisturized before you go in with this product. What this product does is it controls the sebum production underneath the skin and what the sebum is it's in your pores and it basically produces oil and keeps your skin i don't know why it produces oil honestly to keep it moisturized I'm not sure but i watch beauty within's videos and niacinamide goes after hyaluronic acid so i just put that all over two serums these are both thin products so once we've got our thin products out of the way, we're gonna go in with our moisturizer. So same moisturizer that we used last night all over the face. Since I already used the acne moisturizer last night, I'm just gonna go in with this one. And then again, just patting that into the skin. What the moisturizer is gonna do is lock in all of the products that we already applied to our face. And the last thing that we are going to do is I have a little bit of sunscreen in here. This is just a travel size. It's the Kula Sun Milk Drops or something like that. I'll leave a link for everything down below so you guys have no questions on what I'm using and in what order. So just gonna put a little bit of that 
And what the sunscreen is gonna do is protect your skin from the niacinamide. So niacinamide is a brightening product, so it makes your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. And so it, when you're using these products that have active ingredients, you wanna make sure you're protecting your skin from the sun because these products will make your skin a little bit more sensitive to obviously the sunlight and photo aging make you more sensitive to getting wrinkles. So you wanna protect your skin and make sure you're not basically doing all this work to make your skin look better, but then at the same time, reversing the effects by having the sun mess up your face. So put on your sunscreen, even if you're black, you need it. It's important. It's not something that I have ever done in the past, but reading up, doing research, it really just opens your eyes to these things. Skin is skin, no matter if you're white, black, whatever, you need it. So make sure you guys are incorporating it into your routine. Not only if you're using these active ingredients, but just in general, your skin needs protection from the sun. So that is going to be the end of this video and showing you guys how I layer on the ordinary products. I hope you guys can go and get your hands on these. There are all Awesome products so far. I felt like my skin has just been kind of revived. It feels a lot cleaner, feels healthier. There's just something about when you're actually doing the necessary steps that you need to be doing for your skin, you just feel the effects. It's only been a week, but I will be doing like a full breakdown product review, going through each product in depth, sharing my thoughts with you guys and what I think about it and how it's changed my skin. So we will see. Like I said, it's only been a week so far, but we haven't seen major effects. So I hope you you guys enjoyed I hope you found this helpful and this has helped you figure out how to layer on the different products I know it can be kind of intimidating and kind of like overwhelming when you first get these products or you first hear about them but I hope you guys found a few good tips from this video so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one